Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Heidi. Today I'm going to review a couple of Revolution products. Thank you so much to Revolution for sending this to me. So there is the Revolution Bright Light 4-in-1 Face Glow. So I will be trying on that and then if you lift this, there are three eye bright concealers and three highlighters as well. So I will be trying out all of these. If this sounds interesting to you, then please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's just get started. Bright light face glow, 4-in-1 gleam light is what this says. It says 4-in-1 multi-face glow, illuminate and glow mixed with foundation, correct and perfect as sheer base. This looks like a dupe to Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. I feel like the color's not too far off. Um, I think my Charlotte Tilbury one is definitely a little bit lighter. I've done my eyes and I've done my lips and I haven't done my base. I could do half of my face with this and half with the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm super curious. I didn't even know that Revolution made a product like this. It's in a glass bottle. I'm assuming it's a wand applicator as well. Wow, that's a big doe foot. That's bigger than the Charlotte Tilbury one. <laughs> Gonna do a little swatch and right from the swatch I can say that this shade light is like the 2.5 in the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. Wow, that is so lightweight. That is, that just, my skin's just absorb that, which is not what happens with the flawless filter. The flawless filter kind of stays on top of my skin. There is the short Tilbury one, and that's the shade of light in this. Let me just show you the difference in doe foot. Short Tilbury, and this is the Revolution one. I'll do this side with short Tilbury flawless filter. I'm just gonna use my Echo Tools foundation brush, because this is like one of my favorite brushes for foundation. I rarely use the flawless filter as a foundation. I actually don't know why, it's got a really pretty finish. And I like a skin tint. All right, that's flawless filter on that side. And let's use this on the other side. That's a lot more yellowy. A lot like drier texture compared to the Charlotte Tilbury one, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially if you have oilier skin. A really pretty finish. I feel like it blended up pretty well. You can't like tell that it's darker than my skin tone. It's just kind of sheared out when I was blending it out. Right away, you can tell this one does not have the same coverage as the flawless filter because this side of my face looks like blurred. It looks like it has more coverage and you can still see all of that redness coming through there. So definitely not as good coverage. The Charlotte Tilbury one feels like a little bit almost like oily on. It's staying like on top of my skin a little bit, whereas this one just feels more dry and more like it's already set, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna see if I can build it up a little bit because it's very uneven right now. Obviously it is a darker shade, but I'll just put a little bit more on. Not sure if I like the doe foot applicator. It feels a little cheap. It's not as soft as the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I mean, it's just a doe foot applicator, so not a big deal. All right, I feel like it is slightly buildable. It's still not as good as just the one layer of the Charlotte Tilbury one though. So while I actually prefer the texture because it's more dry of the Revolution one, I definitely prefer the finish of the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I rarely use the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter as a foundation. I prefer to use it as sort of like a base, especially if I'm not like really planning to wear a lot of makeup. Then I just use it on the high points of my face, a little bit like on the jawline and stuff, and then just use concealer. So I think I will continue using the Revolution one just because that finish it's really pretty and it just feels a little bit more uh, comfortable on. I don't feel like I necessarily need to powder it. It doesn't completely set, but it sits more than the Charlotte Tilbury one. All right, we've got three concealers. They say illuminating under eye concealer. I've got shades porcelain, light, and fair. And they all say they have vitamin C in them, which is great because that's a brightening ingredient. Let's swatch all the concealers. It says shake before you use. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is kind of like the Maybelline concealer with the sponge tip, or if this is meant to be, since this seems to be kind of like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe collection. I wonder if this is meant to be like magic away concealer. Definitely a sponge tip applicator. I'm not a fan of a sponge tip applicator. I feel like it's super unhygienic, but suppose you could always cut the sponge off. I would imagine like porcelain is the lightest shade and then fair and then light. And I'm just going to do a little swatch on the back of my hand. Oh, shake before you use. I forgot. Let's shake it first. You just twist the end. 
It's almost like an oil. That is super strange. It looks super sheer. I wonder if I just shook it enough. Super, super oily. What on earth? That's a shade porcelain. That is super sheer. And this feels more like a skin tint. Does not look like it has a lot of coverage. This sponge is yellow, whereas the other one was white, which is strange. Actually dried down, I think a little bit darker. But it really doesn't look like it has much coverage in it. Which shade is this? Fair. Fair is a lot more yellow. Porcelain is more pinky let me try shade light there's like nothing coming out of this one except for the oil i did shake it before use let me just get rid of that oil so i can do a swatch no there's this oil coming out of this one what is going on a really good shake i'm just gonna like dab it on there's like you, you can tell there's this oil coming out there's not much there's not much color coming out right there put it on top you actually can't even see that one I, yeah, I'd say the shade light matches my skin tone quite well, at least back of my hand. I'm gonna use shade light despite it's just kind of disappearing and being very oily. I'm just gonna use this one to add more coverage, so I'll use it on the forehead. That's so weird, that's the exact color of my skin. This has never happened to me before. Um, it's super, super shiny. Because of whatever oil is in it, or I hope that's the vitamin C serum because my skin will break out. <laughs> that literally matches my skin exactly you can't actually see where i put it it does add a little bit of coverage let me just use it here like do you see that it just goes to my skin tone there's definitely product there but it's the exact color of my skin okay i really hope this doesn't break me out because this concealer would be perfect for no makeup makeup days i could just use a little bit of this on the center of my face and blend it out and that would be it okay i've got a little breakout just there just gonna dot this on top of it let's see if it does anything at all coverage wise mm, not really it's very very sheer a little bit just there these breakouts here oh there you can see the color just a tiny bit no not much coverage very sheer it's like a skin tint in a concealer format, I guess. Because it's so oily, I'm just wondering, will, will it not crease under the eyes? Seems like it would. I'm gonna use shade Porcelain, which is the lightest shade under my eyes. It's definitely lighter than my skin tone. I feel like if I had a dark shade of this, I would really enjoy it for bronzing. I wouldn't necessarily use this for concealing. I'd use that shade light all over the face as a skin tint, then this light shade to brighten and then I could use a darker shade to contour or to bronze up my face because it feels super lightweight on. Just do a little dot there just to brighten where I would normally brighten. It's actually like separating a little bit already. I'm not really sure how to feel about the concealers yet. I would not use it for concealer. It will definitely crease under the eyes. I can already tell since it's separating. But I would use it for brightening like the center of the face or to use it as a skin tint all over. Especially if you have like nice skin and you just want to even out your skin tone. Let me try the bright light highlighter in Radiance Bronze first. I'm going to try to use this as a glowy bronzer. Let's see how that goes. This one does not say to shake it. And it's the same kind of sponge tip applicator. It looks quite light. I think this is literally just a highlighter for darker skin tones. That is just a gold highlighter. That's very shimmery as well. I'm just gonna use a little bit here, like on the hairline. Blend it out with the brush just to bronze up the face a little bit. But I don't think I would use that as a bronzer just because it is that shimmery. It would be a really um, pretty highlighter for like medium to dark skin tones. Let's use the second darkest shade they sent, which is the divine dark pink let's see how this compares to pinkism swatch pinkism is like glowy this one's glittery Ooh, pretty shade though this is a lot more cool tone compared to pinkism i'll do a swatch of pinkism next to it pinkism is more for pearlescent finish they're a lot warmer compared to the deep pink which is a cool tone shade which is quite nice because pinkism is more of almost like a peachy pink so if you're more cool toned you might prefer this one I'm just putting it right there because I still have a lighter shade to test so I can put it in the front. Dab it out. Oh, that looks really pretty on. Feels quite dry, which I personally prefer. Take my foundation off a little bit, which I find that the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light ones do the same. I would definitely use that one again. That's really pretty. 
I'll try pink as I'm on this side so you can see the difference. So the Tilbury one is definitely warmer and it's just glowier compared to this side. But I actually really like that one. It's just deep pink, but it's actually lighter compared to pink as Let's see, this one is the Beam Pink. This one looks more like the original Pillow Talk highlighter, which I actually don't own. So I would I can't compare this one. Alright, let's do a little swatch of this. Oh, this is a lot more pink compared to the Pillow Talk original highlighter. A lot more like cool tone pink. Really pretty finish. That blush has really dried down. It actually isn't moving, which is great. That's what pink doesn't does. It stays on really well. I'm just gonna dab this to the front of the cheek because it will be too dark, I think, for me um, as a highlighter. It would be a nice blush topper though. Yeah, that's really pretty. If you're more of a cool tone person, I'd go for both the deep pink and the beam pink as a blush and highlighter over the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Okay, I've added some powder um, everywhere except for the cheeks. Both cheeks are a little bit sticky. Very similar finish actually, but it does look like it kind of dries down so that the blushes don't move. So that's good. At least they have like lasting power, which is a problem with a lot of blushes. Like this blush is normally the first thing to fade. The concealer does not have enough coverage, but I think I would really like it as a skin tint. Under the eyes, to be honest, after powder, it doesn't look too bad. But that's also because I don't really have dark under eyes at the moment. But for breakouts or anything like that, it definitely doesn't have enough coverage. I think overall it looks really nice. I gotta say I'm really intrigued by this one. The bright light 4-in-1 face glow. Even that concealer, to be honest, I'm surprised it's set a little bit on the back of my hand. The swatches, it doesn't really smudge that much. Which is very interesting because it has that like weird oily texture it is super super thin on which is why i think i would like it as a skin tint i really like the divine dark pink blush because it's more cool toned and it looks pretty so yeah that's just kind of my first impressions of the revolution bright light face glow so that is all this time thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet i would really really appreciate it thank you so much for hanging out with me today and i hope to see you here next time Bye.